Manifest destiny was the belief that Americans had the right to move west. In the 1840s, most Americans were encouraged by westward expansion for various reasons. They looked to spread democracy, Christianity, and overall spread America's civilization and culture. America had been expanding west since winning its independence. Trails westward included the Oregon and California trails, as well as the Santa Fe Trail through the southwest. The most popular was the Oregon Trail to the northwest. The Young America Movement was the new generation of leaders who pushed for America to be a continent-wide nation. James K. Polk would be the president to embrace Manifest Destiny. He wanted to obtain Western land from Mexico. Polk campaigned on annexing Texas. Upon winning election, the U.S. did annex Texas in 1845. This was done before Polk was officially sworn in as president. Mexico broke off relations with the United States, which hardened the relations between the U.S. and Mexico. The issue with Texas, however, was that it had slaves. In order to maintain the free state-slave state balance, Polk tied the organization of Oregon to the Texas deal, and Oregon became a state in 1846. There was territory in Texas that was in dispute, as Mexico claimed the territory, as did the U.S. Polk wanted more western territory for Mexico and knew he needed to go to war in order to get it, but he needed Mexico to start the war. The Mexican War showed America's willingness to fight for more land. As a result, Polk sent General Zachary Taylor to this disputed area. Mexico fired on the American soldiers, and the Mexican War began in 1846. Several Whigs, including a first-term representative named Abraham Lincoln, demanded that Polk show them the exact spot where the war began in what became known as the Spot Resolutions. The area where the war began was disputed area. The U.S. would defeat Mexico, and Polk aimed to make Mexico an offer for Western land. In congressional debates, a representative from Pennsylvania named David Wilmot made a proposal that no slavery could exist in territory bought from Mexico. This became known as the Wilmot Proviso. It reintroduced slavery into federal politics. In the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, the United States gave Mexico $15 million for the Mexican Cession. This territory included California, the Utah Territory, and the New Mexico Territory. The continental United States would not be completed, however, until 1853 with the Gadsden Purchase. Sutter's Mill in California would become a focal point in the movement west. In 1848, at a sawmill owned by John Sutter in California, gold was discovered in the river. When word reached the East Coast, this would lead to the 1849 California Gold Rush. Thousands of Americans looked for any way possible to migrate to California in hopes of striking it rich. In just a few short years, California's population rapidly increased and those in California were demanding statehood. However, a Congress in turmoil with slavery and federal politics was going to have to decide if slavery would spread into the territory won from Mexico. Sectionalism still dominated U.S. politics. The 49ers were those who rushed to California in 1849. Movement to California, the biggest movement west, took place after gold was discovered. It would create more debate over the spread of slavery. In some ways, Manifest Destiny was successful since Americans moved west and prosperity grew. But on the other hand, territorial expansion led to arguments over slavery, or sectionalism, and the house was dividing.